Hi, my name is Jordan Taylor. I drive for Corvette Racing in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. I've been working with SimCraft now for the past six or seven years, driving their simulators. I've got one in my house, which has been hugely beneficial in my entire career, starting with SimCraft back in 2013 or 14. Really kind of expedited my whole learning process away from the racetrack where I could just practice at home. You know, testing and on-track tests are so expensive these days. So the more seat time you can get somewhere else in a motion simulator, the more you're going to develop as a driver. And I saw huge benefits early on in my career. I think when I got my first sim craft it was probably a bit of an unhealthy relationship that I had with it just with how much time I was spending in it. I'm James Michael Osborne. I'm a physician, a surgeon. I am the founder of the Austin Hatcher Foundation for Pediatric Cancer along with my wife Amy Jo. I had been traveling around the country racing cars and raising money for kids with cancer and one of the things that we learned is that there is a deficit in care not in treating the cancer but in treating the side effects. We developed a program with SimCraft and with CoreSed to work through this process in a safe environment and create a fun and engaging therapy to go with it. This program was really designed around putting the children on the simulator, running them through a series, progressingly difficult driving scenarios, then doing sample testing along the way to evaluate the improvement that they get in their executive functions. My name is Sean Patrick McDonald. I am the co-founder and chief technology officer at SimCraft. So it's certainly not a one-size-fits-all type application. So um, because all humans are different, we've built uh, extreme tunability into the software side and the motion control side of the system. When you are uh, at Road Atlanta, our home track, and you are coming down to a hard braking zone uh, to make a left-hand turn at 10A after a super long straightaway, whichever car you're driving is going to have so much pitch down because you're slamming on the brakes and so much surge forward to give you that momentum shift. But my perception of what that should feel like is going to be different than somebody else's. So the system is extremely tunable in real time so that it can be catered and tailored to what the individual person in the seat at that time wants to feel. I'm Jason Hart. I'm a professional driver and driver coach and uh, use SimCraft products exclusively at home for my own uh, simulation training. The proper dynamics of the sim make a big difference. So if you have improper dynamics, you're basically just getting inputs to your body that don't really correlate to what you're actually feeling on the real track. But when you can correlate the dynamics that you're feeling on the real track with your simulator, all of, all of a sudden you can accomplish higher states of improvement in your sim driving that then relate directly to the real world. My name is Scott Ackerman. I'm the president and co-founder of a company called Core site. If we can train both cognitive, physiologically, muscle memory, etc. in a simulated training environment, we're going to be better prepared for those specific demands on the driver in an actual race environment. In my opinion, the absolute best opportunity for them to train is to try to simulate physiological demands and cognitive demands. SimCraft has created this. If you listen to some of the interviews uh, of drivers, you can hear from them firsthand how valuable this type of training is. Using a simulator in a coaching environment like we did today with a gentleman who's going to be racing in the Porsche Sprint Series with NOLA Sport this year, we're able to give real-time feedback to the driver and quickly improve his lap times and understanding at a track so that he can get to the track with full knowledge of the line he should be doing, some of the techniques that he needs to continue to develop that we found as weaknesses and his drive. And that's hugely beneficial considering he didn't have the schedule to be able to go to the test that was set up at Sebring. He missed that so we're now we're going to do the test on the Sims which we did today and hopefully that drive will then excel once we get to the race weekend. It's it's a very positive environment. I've driven you know all the stationary simulators, all the motion simulators and for me, I've always chosen SimCraft. They've always been a great partner of mine, but it's been a great partner, but it's a great partner because it's such a great product and it's something that I swear by. I tell all my friends about, I tell all my professional friends about that are in motorsports, and that's why you see so many professional drivers and amateur drivers going to SimCraft, kind of develop their skills, develop their strengths even more. So it's just a perfect place to, uh, to develop as a race car driver. When you have the two-dimensional where you've got a flat screen here and your steering wheel, you have none of that feedback and none of that perception of braking zone, what the car is doing, or how to respond to that. And again, closer it is to reality, the more your body is going to develop the appropriate reaction to the responses. The fact that our system closely mimics how six degrees of freedom work in the real world in a real vehicle, and they're also all independent from one another, creates not only a compelling simulation, but I think a scientifically correct one. 